All right, I'm gonna get a new um screen, I think. Um <laughs> screensaver because it's right there, but I don't know. I look like I couldn't find it. Um so I'll go right here. Uh source images. No, not this. Images. Any bottle UV, right click, open with Photoshop. Okay, so now I'm going to take those images I had, the reference image. Where's that? It's reference image right here. All right. And then we're going to go to, no, not this one. Source images. This, drag it in. Now we'll take this. Same thing, we'll just take it and scale. You can double click. Um, so check this out. There's still some more space on the sides that we'll be showing. But instead of having that there, we can, uh, we can fake it, right? So to do this, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go duplicate layer. I'll hide the old one, so we have this. And I'll just go to this right here. And I'll slice. Well, actually, you know what I could do? I can take this. No, I'll do this. I'll take this whole thing. And I'll delete this. Oh, it's not editable. So if you have that, just right click on it and go to, um, no, right click on this. We can just say uh, convert to smart object, right? So then we're gonna be able to cut this. So do like this and delete, oh no. So maybe it's rasterize. Delete, okay, that's what I want it. Now I have this part right here. This box is still here. If it's still here, you just have to click on this and then just click one time and it goes away. So now we get our uh, this tool right here and we'll just scale this out. And I'm gonna go hold down shift now to get this. Hold down shift, shift, shift. And the whole reason I did this is just to get the background. I could have even gone like this, and then I can, uh, let's say, duplicate this. And bring it over here or something. So now when we have our regular label, you see what's there. But since this is on the bottom layer, which we'll is bring it to the top. So now this is here. So it doesn't matter if it's kind of like not, um, the most aligned, these parts right here, as long as they cover up that, that's the most important part. So as long as this covers up that, it's all good. This did cover up that, right? Yeah. So now I'll take off this back layer and then I'll go to file, save as. Let's just go to JPEG. Just go to UV, let's put A on the end, underscore, uppercase A. We're gonna do done. Just keep that going, 12, cool. So now, let's go back to my. Now this is how we're gonna put it on, right? I'm gonna right click, let me show you. Go back into this view. So we're gonna right click on this and go to assign new material. 
click on the word Arnold and always go to AI standard service. Now let's name this uh, label. Let's click on this color. Let's go to file. Click on this. Find the Henny label. Now we have it here, right? Now remember, it's four for wireframe, five for solid, six for the texture. So now this is over everything, right? Which wouldn't be right. So we can do this, press spacebar. I mean, not spacebar. Uh, go to UV editing. And so these are our faces right here for our label. And these are those extra faces right here. But for these extra faces, we can just select it. And it doesn't matter if these are big or small or what's going on, right? Because they're just going to get a regular shader going over it. So I will right click and go to assign new material. Arnold, AI yeah, standard surface. So right now, if we scroll on this, oh yeah, check this out. We have a lot of history here. So it says poly tweak, UV, all this stuff, right? So this is just saying all the things I made to make it to get rid of this. We click on this one right here. This says delete by type history. Wait, let me object mode it. Now you'll see all this disappear as long as I click this one in the middle. Okay, so we have label and then we have this one right here. So let's name this bottle bottle color or something. Let's do Henny bottle. All right. So now if I click on this, we can get a color for it. So let's go to this like brownish. Well, I'm having a freeze. Hmm. Computer is freezing. Let's just go to done. Let's right click. Let me see what we have right here. And if you want to change the color again, well, that's the only reason that's coming up because the UV screen is here. But if we want to change the color, all we have to do is, oh, and to get to this menu, we can click on it and we can see everything, our position, I mean, yeah, position, uh, mesh, and we can see our two materials that we put on there. If we're in the viewport right now, and say we have nothing clicked, and I click on this, and I right click, and I go to material attributes, it'll take me to straight to these materials. I guess it goes to label first, because it was first. Then we can just click on the bottle and find the Henny bottle one. So there's another way to do this, but this is like the cheap way to do it. So we can kind of get through, and if you need a bottle or a label put on something, we can do it like this. As always, we can change the color to whatever we want. And that would be how you place a label on a bottle. Now, let me see this. If I press three. OK. So right now, this is, um, if I press three, you see how it collapses? If I don't want it to collapse, I just go to edge, shift, right click, bevel edge, go to fraction. It just needs a couple more edge loops to hold together. So if I press three right now, that's what happens. But let's say I add, add two segments, right? Now I press three, see what happens. So I'm pressing three and one, toggling back and forth. Just because I'll just do three. Right. Press Q to quit. And then we can also, just to make everything look correct, make ourselves a little fake top. Just let me do this real fast. Kind of looking at that. Control E for extrude. Let's bring it up. Now I press G to pull it up again. And then with this top, I'll do the same thing I just did. Right click, go to bevel edge. 
Give me some segments. I'll press Q to quit. Double click down here. G to repeat the tool. Segments. Let's put them in three. Just remember all it has to be is two or more. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create like that little split right there. What well, actually kind of looks like the top's a little bit bigger, like it protrudes a little bit and tapers in. Now look, this is just me, like if you wanna go ahead and do this part, that's cool, but this is me just being a perfectionist, right? So I'll go to faces and I'll get all, look, I'll get all these faces, right? But I want that other layer right there. So I'll do a control E and then I'll hold down control and go to thickness, kind of pull up. So I'm getting this like little taper right here. All right, click. And I can do this, double click on this edge, hold down shift, double click on this edge, shift, right click, bevel, hold down control. So I can get this fine control and I'll give it two segments. And I did that. So if I press three, it kind of like gets smooth, nice and smooth. And one more thing, just cause like I said, I'm perfectionist. I don't need an edge loop there. I meant to make it higher. So let's do that. I'm gonna take this knife tool, hold down control, click right here one time. And I'll click right here one time. And then I'll also click in the middle, press Q to hold, I mean Q to quit. And then I'll just put in edge mode. You know, and then just double click on this to make that ring, press R and I'll just bring it in. And it kind of collapses on each other. So I'll do the same thing I did before. I'll double click on this, shift, double click on this, shift, right click, bevel edge, hold on cutting fraction. And I can press three while I'm in this mode too. So I can press three and one, you know, and I can kind of check out what I'm doing and scale and kind of go back and forth if I need to. So press Q to quit. Now we have all this construction history right here. So I'll just press this right here to delete all that. Now I'm gonna go back into modeling standard no, wait, is it my classic? So let's name this bottle top. I can name it Henny Top and then bottle. Mm, it kind of stretches over. But like I said, I added the top later, so don't sweat it too much. But if I want to BS it, I can kind of go in and do something like this, but you should probably just really UV a label on that, but I'm, I just really care about this label. So I'm just putting this here and um, yeah, let's put it right here. It's totally not, not correct, but I didn't mean to model the top. That was like an afterthought kind of thing. So let's right click and then we'll do assign new material and then Arnold AI standard surface. And then let's name this uh, gold top. I can name the Henny top, I can name it whatever. Then let's just go to like, you know, one of these colors, yellow. Yellow orange, just this goldish kind of color. Yeah, and this is how you would uh, put on a label or UV a bottle, I should say. So put a label on a bottle. UV a bottle and put a label on it.